Good evening, uh, Speaker and Senators. You know, this uh, hearing has gone through many um, uh, sessions, but I've stayed away from the discussion because um, I wanted to see what is really the pulse of the, of the Senators. Unfortunately, tonight, I think I need to speak out on, on the experience of my career and the current state of healthcare issues on Guam that would be a challenge to good patient care if this bill is passed. Before the Malpractice, Medical Malpractice Act, I had three lawsuits, frivolous lawsuits. Okay, one, an attorney came, comes to my office and says, settle this for $25,000 and we're done. Next one is I'm being, I'm being targeted by a patient who had a neurological injury because of the Government Claims Act. They decided to go after me, who was the internist, that admitted a patient who had a cervical spine fracture because I missed the fracture. The radiologist was not caught in a uh, suit or named in, the, in a suit, and the, and the neurosurgeon were not named in the suit. Another one is, of course, everybody knows, on New Year's and on Christmas Eve, I get called by a family who says they're going to sue me for $25 million for missing an a, a, a instrumentation of, uh, that was left in an in, in uh, emergency surgery. That experience no longer exists because of the Medical Malpractice Act. And to have that kind of experience is devastating, you know, in your career. You know, you have to spend the time, you have to go through your mind, what have you really done to, to deserve this in what you want to do for the island. Okay, I, I want to provide the best care in this island with the resources I have. And I do that as best I can. But when these things happen, and, and, the, and this I just read through here, there's going to be a screening complaint, right? So that complaint, you know, anybody can bring it. So I'm going to take time away from my practice to deal with that complaint. Even though it doesn't necessarily, you know, it doesn't amount to, I mean, again, before the judge sees the case, there's going to be a, a complaint filed. And we have a, an opportunity to exchange with the, the, the person suing us. Well, I don't want to take my time with that. You know, I mean, I'm going to take my time for every, you know, lawsuit that's filed against me because now there's an opportunity to make money. I mean, again, you know, you, you have people that come from off island that back then there was, there was supposed to be specialized in suing doctors. I remember this guy's name, worked for uh, an attorney down uh, in Nagania, and he's here to basically, uh, uh, his expertise to sue doctors. And he was, he was the, he, he sued me on two cases uh, that I named, that I stated earlier. But, so, if we're going to have that complaint filed without any screening, that's screening of the claim, okay? It's going to take time away from my practice, a busy practice, and there's not many internists on island, and then we're going to have to figure out how to settle it so we can all, go, you know, not have to spend more time. It's like, you know, going to the IRS and, and you know, being told that you basically, you know, owe so much money, do you want to deal with it or settle it? You know, so it, it ends up basically being probably a settlement, even if it's nothing. But, so I'm, I'm, I'm not in favor of having an opportunity for any patients to go after doctors because they're th they think they're wrong. And you know, as, as I hear the discussion before with regards to this need for the, uh, a med, uh, you know, to change the Medical Malpractice Act, you know, I, I, I'm sorry if I offend the senators here that say that basically they've heard cases of, 
of medical negligence? Well, who are you to judge to say that that was a medical negligence? Okay, so that's already acting on a, on, in bad faith, in my opinion, to say that we have committed medical negligence and the patients didn't have a chance to go after, you know, what they've been rightfully wrong. Okay, I mean, let, let's, let's give, I mean, let's even this playing field and start from the beginning without any bias as to that, that the people of Guam have been getting bad care. The people of Guam have been getting great care with the resources that we had. If we really don't provide those good care, a lot more things can happen. I mean, why do I need to review a, a, an exam in the Philippines and tell somebody who's, you know, who I saved his heart that, hey, they missed a heart problem over there? You already had an exam. Okay? I can just practice like that. Or somebody that is dying.